Good morning children. Today our topic is light, shadows and reflections. So light we all know that is very important to see the world around us. You are able to see the world. So early in the morning you come out and see the surroundings, you enjoy the beauty of sunrise. You enjoy the beauty of birds chirping, you can see that. The sky is cloudy and you can see the sun rises in the cloudy sky. You can see that greenery around you, you can see the grass, you can see the small plants with small droplets of dew. So you can enjoy the beauty of nature with your eyes. Okay. So we are able to see the world, it's because of light. If there is no light, you cannot see anything. Daytime you are able to see because light is there. Night time you cannot see anything because there is no light. Daytime the light of sun falls on the earth. So we have sunlight to see. Night time there is no light falling on the earth because you are on the other side of the earth where there is no sunlight falling. So you cannot see anything. Of course, you can see only with the help of artificial light, electrical bulbs and all. With those things you are able to see. But when we talk about natural light, daytime only we are able to see. So how we are able to see the things? When light falls on an object, the light get reflected to our eyes, we see the reflection. So by that we can see the object. If no light is falling on that object, you cannot see that object. I am looking at you. You are looking at me. How is it possible? The light falling on my face, that light is reaching your eyes, then you are able to see me. So that is the way how light helps us to see the things. So when we talk about the light and the shadows and reflections, we need to know the meaning of certain terms. We should be familiar with certain terms. Let us see what are those terms. Luminous object, non-luminous object. What is this? What is a luminous object? What is a non-luminous object? Let us see. If any object, any body that is able to produce the light of its own, you call it as a luminous object or luminous body. Anything that produces light on its own, it is emitting the light. What is that? Sun is the best example. Sun is a star. Any star you can take, sun is a star which emits the light on its own. You can take electric bulb or torch bulb. Electric bulb also emits light on its own. It produces the light. Sun, a star, produces the light. Moon, can you say moon? No. Moon do not produce any light on its own. Moon is just reflecting the light of sun. The sunlight falls on the moon, so the moon shines. The moon is a reflecting the light of sun. It is not emitting the light. It is not producing the light of its own. So, moon you cannot say it is a luminous object. Sun and electric bulb are examples of luminous bodies. So, non-luminous bodies, the objects that do not emit the light on their own, that is a non-luminous body. Here you have humans, you can write human body, we the humans, the moon, the earth. So, all these things do not produce light on their own, just they reflect the light. We are able to see the world, you are able to see the garden, plants, flowers, fruits, animals, birds. All these objects are reflecting the light to your eyes. Then you are able to see them. Those are all non-luminous objects or bodies. Hope you are familiar with these two terms, luminous objects or luminous bodies and non-luminous object or non-luminous body. Now let us go to the other three terms that are important that we must know. One is opaque body, opaque. So what is opaque? It is a property of a material. If you take a cardboard or a wooden plank, if you keep the wooden plank just in front of your face, right, can you see what is on the other side? No. Okay. So you are driving on a bike. If you keep one wooden plank in front of you, can you see the road? It is not possible. 
Why? Because the wooden plank is opaque. Opaque in the sense it does not allow the light to pass through it. You are driving the bike. Your friend is holding a glass in front of you. Can you see the road? Yes, you can. Because it is a glass. The light passes through the glass. You can see that. What is that nature? Transparent. If any body or material allow the light to pass through it, you call it as transparent. If the light is not allowed to pass through that object, it is called opaque. So now you understood the difference between opaque and transparent. You are driving a car. So what is there just in front of your dashboard? There is a glass to the car. So the glass, it protects from the wind and rain. So you are driving, you can see through the glass, you can look at the road. So we cannot fix a wooden plank in front of the car. We can use only the glass because if a wooden plank is used, it is opaque. It does not allow the light to pass through. You cannot see the object. So you are driving a car. In front of you, there is some vehicle. A truck is coming. You are able to see the truck. How you are able to see the truck? The light falling on the truck is reflected to your eyes. So the light reflected by the truck is reaching your eyes. It is passing through the glass and reaching your eyes. So the glass is transparent. If any other material is used like metal or wood, it is opaque. You can't see. So if an object is said to be opaque, when it is said to be opaque, when it does not allow the light to pass through it. An object is said to be transparent. When the light is allowed to pass through that, you call it as transparent. Opaque means light is not allowed to pass through. Then what is this translucent? Translucent means when an object or material allow the light partially, not completely, you call it as translucent. You know the butter paper. If you use the butter paper to see, you can see the other side, but you can't see it clearly. A smoked glass. For some kind of windows, they use smoked glass or glass with some design. So in that glass, just you can see the outline, a blurry vision of the person or anything out other side of the glass. You can't see exactly what it is. It's because of the light is not completely allowed. It's partly allowed. That is called translucent. You can make one translucent object. Just you can take a paper. So if you use the paper to see what is there on the other side, you cannot see through the paper. It's opaque. If you put some oil, the paper become translucent. You can see what is there on the other side, but you cannot see exactly clearly. So that is translucent. Translucent means an object or material that allow the light to pass through partially. So it is a translucent object. So here we are, now we are familiar with the terms luminous object, non-luminous object, opaque object, transparent and translucent. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.